the guano, he's right there. I'm gonna see if I can take a shot at him. Right to the dome. Got our first iguana. All right, guys. So we got our first iguana here. A nice orange one, big male. Got him with the belly gun. And all we're doing is we're just going around these canals right now, just looking for them, and they're out sunning. All right. So we got our pillow here. We just put it in. Got another iguana right here. Hang it set up. Perfect shot. So you can see he just let go of his tail because I was holding on to it and I had to grab him by the, the ribs. But you can see perfect head shot right there. This is just his nerves. All right, so basically what we're doing is we're looking around this concrete seawall right here. And uh, they're out basking right now. It's pretty cold. It's about 72 degrees. And uh, they're coming out on this concrete because it's really hot. And you can feel the sun bakes it up. And uh, we're just going around with our pellet gun and shooting them. So we placed our iguanas right here and look how good they camouflage. Super hard to see them. All right, so another thing, iguanas are highly invasive species. If you look about the FWC, they recommend you kill every single one of them. Uh, what they do is they dig in holes under seawalls, under houses, and they cause uh, seawalls and the, the foundations of the houses to fall apart. So we're doing a good thing. We're taking out as many as we can, and we're gonna cook them up and show you guys how good they are to eat. Shot. All right, so we just got a, a female right here. Awesome colors, completely limp, perfect head shot. That's another big one. All right, so. I took off running there because obviously he's dead, but their nerves instinctively will let them take off running. So, but that is a dead iguana right there. Nice, pretty one as well. Nice orange one, big male. Let's go. I gotta hit him on the move. Kill them both right there. Big old female and a male and one of the, this hole right here. This is the destruction that they cause. So took some nice ones out of the air. They're really heavy. Perfect. <laughs> I thought he was gonna come all the way to us. <laughs> He should be dead. Oh, damn. Nice. Right through the back. I'll hold it. Let's go. Oh, he's still alive. But we got him. We got him. This Let's is go. Godzilla right here. Oh, what a nice one. Ow. Check him out. Look at those colors. Nice one. I think we got a few. Guys, so here he is. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, they're like 30 pounds of just straight meat. Um, I don't want people to just think that I'm just killing these things for no reason. 
Um, they are an invasive species. Uh, FWC wants you to go out there and kill as many as possible. They are. Uh, they have no natural predators. You know, they go really big. They fight. They cause diseases. You know, there's a lot of bad things about them. So. Where are we tonight? What we're doing right now is we're just helping out Florida's ecosystem, taking out some of these invasives, and we're gonna put them on a dinner plate. And uh, my goal is hopefully a lot of other people start doing this. And just like the Burmese pythons, you know, the more that we take out is better. All right, guys, we are back at the house. We have the iguana set up out of the cooler. They've been iced down since yesterday. We're gonna go ahead and knock off all the meat on them. I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. This was the biggest one that we've got. Check this one out. He's uh, with his tail, he's about four feet long. He's got some really big, nice legs, a nice big male. See those big cheek muscles right there. And we're gonna turn these guys into iguana burgers. Um, like I said earlier, um, FWC wants you to go out and hunt these guys. And I'm trying to show everybody that, you know, they're not just something that you wanna go out there and kill for no reason. You can actually put them on the dinner plate. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do the iguanas. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off all his legs. And you wanna come first cut right behind. Work yourself around, and you're just gonna look for that joint. Once you find it, just gonna cut in there, cut her out. There's one, same thing, cut down, through the joint, and you're gonna cut down and through. Turn them over, behind, front, all the way around. You can see the joint right there. I'm just gonna cut through, through it. Get this last leg. Behind, in front. And now we have our cheeks and our tail that we're gonna take off. So come right here, right up against the jaw towards the tongue area. And you can see that the skin comes off away from the cheek. Fairly easy. And you come in right against the bone. And take out the entire cheek muscle right there. Supposedly that's the best meat. Now we're gonna go for the tail. Around. And then you don't want to go too far down where it's not worth it. You're not being tail is extremely hard to get into. As soon as you get your knife in, just work it around in a circle. Break it off. Put it aside. Break it off. There we, so there we go. We have our two back legs right there, our two front legs, and then our tail. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do each and each one of these. What I do with the feet is that I make an incision here in the top, just like that. I turn and rip, the excess skin I cut off. And then what I do is I get my scissors and I run it down the entire length of the iguana. And then I grab the excess skin here and I try just to Fry it out, and if I need my knife, I'll use my knife. But usually, sometimes you should be able to start working it back like that. There we go. Start getting your fingers in there, and you just want to rip it out. And just it's the same thing I did with the frogs. You kind of just rip, rip the. There you go. Just rip the skin right off. So that leg's ready to go. And then I'm gonna show you what you do with the tail. I think this might work best. It's taking off the top in my way. And this isn't to protect the hide either. If you want to protect the hide, you got to do this very carefully. Take all the skin off. I'm just doing this for the meal. So once you have enough off, you should just be able to just rip it. There we go. There's your tail, there's your skin. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna separate actually the uh, the meat from the bones. So right here you find where the spine is at and 
kind of like a tuna almost or a backstrap it's more like a backstrap if you've ever done a pork or a, a deer and you just turn your knife follow the bone all the way down and you rip that loin out there we have our two flabs of meat find our bones and just rip it off there we go boneless tail meat so there you guys see it, we have the uh, two cheeks right there. They're actually a lot bigger than I thought. We got the, all the tail meat right here. And then you can see the size of the leg right there. Go ahead and knock these up. Put it foot. So there we have it. We have all the uh, iguana tail and cheeks and one bowl. And then I have another bowl that I have all the feet that I have to do now. All right guys, so we're in the kitchen right now. We're gonna do a brine for our meat. So here we have, we have all the tail meat in the cheeks right here. And what we have here is a half cup of salt, half cup of sugar, some uh, dry spices. We have a bay leaf in there, some red pepper, some sage, uh, some pepper. And we're gonna go ahead and add about uh, eight cups of water. I might do a little bit less, mix it all together, and then we're gonna put it in here. And there we have it, we got our Iguana tail in the brine. We're gonna go ahead and put some plastic wrap on this and then leave it overnight. All right guys, we are now in the kitchen. Here's our iguana. Uh, we had an assault brine overnight. Uh, took a paper towel to it and dried it off. And this is what we have now. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it through the grinder with some bacon and then we're gonna season it and uh, make some burgers out of it. Here we have the iguana and the bacon. We're gonna go ahead and transfer it over to this pan so that it's easier to mix. Looks more like a sausage right now. So here we have a couple of spices. We've got salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, cayenne, paprika, and maybe a couple other seasonings. We're gonna go ahead and spread this all on top. So right here we have our little burger maker. We're gonna go ahead and scoop up a handful. Here are the iguana burgers right now. Just place our burgers inside uh, the hot pan. We got some grease in there. Our caramelized onions are done and we got four more to put in there. The sauce that we're gonna make for these burgers, we have the secret sauce or the in and out sauce. Basically it's two parts mayonnaise to one part ketchup and one part relish and a little bit of salt to taste. Just whip it up. There we have it. We got our secret sauce that we're gonna put also on the burgers. We got our tomatoes. We're just gonna slice those up. We got our onions here. What we're gonna do with our onions, we're gonna uh, put them in a pan and caramelize them so we can put them on top. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply just do some, some really thin. Alrighty guys, so we just uh, assembled our burgers. We have um, lettuce, tomato, caramelized onions, and then some sauce on top. Everything's ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this one directly in half. There we go. There's our burger. I will admit that I over seasoned these burgers. Um, so, or over salted the burgers. So we're gonna go ahead and give them a try. There we go. Like I said, I oversalted it. Um, I added bacon, and I shouldn't have added any extra salt. But other than that, it's actually pretty good. I'm not lying. It's actually pretty good. So he's gonna try it. Like I said, if you guys do this, do not add any salt to it after. Not what you expected. Tastes like salt. <laughs> hmm. That's what it tastes like. Salt with some juicy tomato and a bunch of sauce. You don't taste the lizard. Guys, where I messed up is with the salt brine and all the salt got infused in it. And then after I added a whole pack of bacon, that's even more salt there. And then I added a tablespoon 
a salt to the four pounds of meat, and that's where I went wrong. But, Joey, one out of ten, what would it be? A five. A five. And I said seven, so leave it at six.